Did you know this? Not all zirconia are the same. It is a sensitive topic, but a topic that has generated a lot of attention globally. We're talking about zirconium dioxide and its use in dentistry. Per se, it is one of the more recent developments of dentistry and for obvious reasons, there are multiple advantages that come out of use of zirconia. But remember, there are also disadvantages or drawbacks to this material. And that's why there are select indications for the same. And there are scenarios where zirconium dioxide is almost like a contraindication. Let's say I have a long span posterior bridge. The problem here is zirconia is so strong that its strength becomes its weakness. Because zirconia, which has a very high flexural strength, does not flex, which means it does not bend, which means it concentrates all the stresses at the connector. And unfortunately, one fine day, the connector fractures. Having said that, what have global researchers done? They want to push and promote more and more of zirconia. Why? Because it is relatively easy to manufacture and there is good profit margins from the same. So what have research and developers done? They have added yttrium to our zirconia and now you have something called as a 3YTZP, which is a zirconia that has a lesser amount of yttrium, which is really strong, but not very aesthetic. It's more opaque. So where do we recommend the 3YTZP? Posterior teeth, where you need more force and, and you don't want your restorations to easily fracture. But when we come to anterior teeth, we want more aesthetics. We want more translucency. And this is where a 5YTZP steps into the picture because it has more molecule percent of yttrium, which gives it a more aesthetic appeal. So please go ahead and have a discussion with your technician. Don't just take five years, 10 years, 15 year warranty, but have a discussion for your select indication, which means if it's a posterior or an anterior, a single tooth or a multi-unit restoration, what would be the correct composition of zirconia? So that was this Tipsy Tuesday, friends. If you want more information about this, just go ahead and type zirconia in the comment section and we will share with you the indications, contraindications, the drawbacks, as well as the advantages of zirconia along with an amazing article where you will get more details about the different types of zirconium dioxide. Hope you enjoyed this series of Tipsy Tuesday. Friends, announcement here. This is the last episode of season three. We will soon be back with season four of Tipsy Tuesday. Please feel free to go ahead and type down in the comment section. How did you like this particular series? this particular episode and what all would you want us to cover in coming seasons. Until then, I wish you all an interference-free life.